The Christian population in Japan is only 1.5%, a reflection of Japan's rich cultural and religious diversity. Today, I had the opportunity to interview a fascinating individual, a half Japanese Christian. We discussed his experiences and the challenges that he faces as a minority. First of all, mm -hmm. can you please introduce yourself? I have a Welsh father and I have a Japanese mother. I was born in Wales, but I grew, I was raised in Ibaraki, which is pretty close to Tokyo. I'm 24 years old and I'm a Christian, most importantly. What made you embrace Christianity? So just to give you a little bit of a background of how I was raised, my parents are both Christians, so I did grow up going to church on Sundays, but that doesn't really mean that I ever had a personal attachment to, to the Bible, to, to any God. I wasn't really seeing it as it for myself, you know what I mean? Like it's, it wasn't really mine, it was my parents' religion kind of. But I was like pretty insecure about being mixed in Ibaraki because there's no many foreigners or mixed kids. So I didn't, I didn't like being in Japan. I didn't like going to Japanese school because I was so different. Were you treated differently? Well, did you encounter some sort of like so difficulties for, as, as a huffle? For example, I, I was joining this um, baseball club, right? And when there's a huge competition, all the players would gather in one place, right? Mm -hmm. And I stand out so much because I even had a brighter haircut mm. and everything. And I just remember it felt like everybody like in this field, on this baseball field, baseball ground, like staring at me. The, I just remember it so quick, clearly and I was so insecure. Did, did you feel like you were like Alien. A, a, a weirdo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even having foreign names, like my name is Timothy James. I don't have any Japanese names. Mm. Um, so that's just what made me very insecure about me being mixed. So then I start wanting to go to school in London. And when I was 16, that finally happened. I was able to go to London for a year. This um, family, that's a friend of my dad, hosted me for a year. Mm. Um, so I, I went, I did go to school there. But th this family was like a super Christian. I'm going to church again, but you're grown a bit. So you're just like, you just got so many questions, right? What I thought was, I really need to look into the Bible, whether it's true or not. So this is all that mattered to me if the Bible was like historically, spiritually, like in every aspect, like correct, like true. Mm. Um, so that's, that's the like research that I did in London by myself, reading books, watching many videos. Have you ever thought that maybe you were, I don't know, trying to be rude mm -hmm. or something like that, but have you ever thought that maybe you were a little bit brainwashed because of that host family? Absolutely because... not. Because I was actually very skeptic, skeptical mm. and I was asking so many like rude questions about their faith, about the faith and about the Bible, about Jesus and everything. Not just to the host family, like um, if we ever actually I see in church. Have you ever like de debated somebody? And I tried to, like... but the thing was that, right, um, every time I tried to debate someone or try to, I don't know, debunk them or something like this. I just couldn't like they they had answers and they it just made sense to me most of them going back to the question you asked me it was because I came to realize that it was true it's not like I liked Christianity it's not like I liked the Bible it's not because it made me feel good and not because it was comfortable many things are uncomfortable actually being a believer especially in Japan like you said there's normally great no, many Christians. Which actually leads to my next question. Mm -hmm. Being a Christian in Japan as a minority, have you ever faced <clears throat> challenges or, I don't know, discrimination or... I would say Japan is one of the safest country to be a follower of Jesus, mm. to, to be a Christian. So I don't want to sound like oh, I'm being persecuted or anything like it. It's actually incredible being able to be a believer in Japan. Mm. Um, you've got the rights and everyone respects it, everyone tries to respect it. I, I, guess, I guess it's because of the uh, American constitution that allows the freedom yeah. of belief, yeah. right? Just a little info, the Japanese constitution is heavily influenced by the American one. But so. also to do with the character of Japanese people too, not just because of the rules mm. and laws and everything. Um, but just because Japanese people are just like so away from 
I don't want to say away, but they are not familiar with the Bible or Christianity. So sometimes, not me, like I love talking to people, I love answering questions and stuff, but some people do find it a bit annoying trying to explain the faith and stuff like that. But that's, you can't say anything about that. That's just natural, isn't it? If you don't know anything about something, you just have to ask simple questions. Um, so I personally never got persecuted or never got mocked. Um, have you ever heard stories or, or from like your friends or anybody? Preachers or pastors that would go to the very countryside of Japan. The, <clears throat> the faith in the land is like, mm -hmm. might be very strong, not like in cities. So they, they, they would see you as a mm, crazy, crazy guy trying to, trying to bring another religion to the town to convert ah, people okay. and stuff like that. So I, I have actually, I just remembered, I, I have heard from many pastors who go out to the rural areas of Japan that would face some strange stuff. Like from kind of like, of people. Off, bro. Kind of, yeah. But, but in a Japanese polite kind of way. Yeah, I guess. In their way, exactly. It's not like too harsh. There is this like weird kind of a conspiracy of Jesus being buried in Japan. Have you... Okay, oh, okay. Wow. It seems like you <clears throat> you're not into that conspiracy, but there is this like uh what, what is the town? Uh I, I don't It's in Aomori. Aomori? I can't exactly remember the Well, but the town. so look. <clears throat> the basis of that um claim, I would assume so in Judaism there were 12 tribes mm -hmm. right and jesus was jew right mm -hmm. and they mm -hmm. were spread out mm -hmm. around the world and there was a tribe that uh traveled to japan just wanted to mention this is not a fact this is a theory and maybe it has like some sort of connection and mm -hmm. maybe jesus was just like you know chilling traveling all around the world learning things and what do you think about that well Jesus did not come to Japan. He was Whoa. he was put on the cross. He he died and he rose again three days later. That's a fact. I would believe that as a fact. So I w I would definitely not believe this hundred percent. There's no evidence. It's just some people trying to have fun with all these theories and stuff. Um, but the the theory of a Jewish group or a tribe coming to Japan, I'm actually quite. How do you say? I'm open to this, mm. and I actually do think it's a it's a huge possibility that Jewish group has brought such a huge influence in Japan. And literally a few days uh, before, I just bought a book um, written by a historian who's just trying to argue this theory, mm -hmm. um, and he's actually quite supportive of this theory. Um, when you actually look at look into Shintoism. Or the, not just Shintoism, but also like... You have the, the, very... the cube on the, on the head. It's actually called Tokin, and it's pretty similar to that feeling, what the Jews were when they pray. Yeah, so many, you, you so have, many. You have the demon with the big nose. This one is called Tengu. They are considered a type of supernatural being or Shinto spirit. I mean, Jews got a big nose. I'm a Jew, I'm allowed to be <laughs> that's fine. So and, many. And... Also like, if you go to Okinawa, like I told you, like in Miyako Island, every island or just Okinawa as well, they have so many, how do you say, like s stories from so long ago that has so much connection to the, to the Bible. Mm. And, to, to a point you can't even like deny this theory like it's anymore. kind of it, it becomes kind of like weird like, yeah hmm interesting e even like more than that you would just actually think like maybe it's possible because a, a pastor that's really close to me he, he's actually written a book he's from Miyako Island down in the south hmm. and it's just mind-blowing really so first when I was hearing about this theory I was like nah this is just another conspiracy theory there's no way but when you like actually look into it it's actually very possible and it's quite it's quite interesting when it comes to worshiping jesus in japan how does it work do, do you go to 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 the church is there any difference when it comes to japan and the west mm. it kind of depends on the denomination that you're in but usually it's pretty much the same you go to church on sundays mm -hmm. some churches do their services on saturday according to the shabbat but typically, 
on Sundays. When it comes to Japan, do you have any specific activities? When it comes to Christianity in Japan, like something special that is、um, going on? It's pretty basic, I think. It's not that different to the Christianity in the West. Like,、mm. we would celebrate Christmas a lot,、um, Easter, Pentecost,、um, what else? Just quite basic stuff, I guess. Do you think that your faith made you look at、uh, Japan in a different kind of light? That's such a good question. Because it changes things, right? I'm, I was just telling them, but I'm really like developing my Japanese identity. I'm really embracing, I'm starting to embrace it so much. So I'm, I'm being more and more patriotic、um, for Japan.、And、then obviously, Shintoism comes as well, right? Because Shintoism is a huge part of Japanese culture, and that's what. And you were actually yesterday in a festival. Yeah, it、exactly. is like a very Japanese、exactly. festival. So, so I, get, I get this question a lot, and it just makes me think so much. Like, all. <laughs> like Shintoism, I think it has so many beautiful things in it.、Mm. I would still never look at it as the truth, but the way my ancestors, the way Japanese people have tried to, tried to see some divinity in the beautiful nature that. God has brought upon Japan、mm-hmm. in this land. To me, it makes so much sense that they try to make gods out of nature. How they try to have this god on this mountain, this god in this sea, things like this. I think it's very natural as well, but also I think I, w- I would say it's quite beautiful. That's actually quite difficult, you know, as a believer, how to, how to draw the line. And yeah, this is something that I've been thinking a lot lately, actually.、Mm. Yeah. It's interesting.、Yeah. You, you always have to question. Yeah. Remember. Do you feel like there are misconceptions about Christians in Japan? 100%. In Japan, there's many cults, right? Yeah. Many sects of. I, don't, I couldn't even say Christianity, but they, they claim that they, they know the Bible. They, so, they kind of like、own. Jehovah Witnesses? Exactly. Mormonism. Also,、mm. the biggest one recently is. Um, it's, in Japanese, it's called Toits Kyokai, and it had a huge scandal recently.、Mm. So it, it was all over the news. This is a year or two years ago. So from this, people just automatically、um, include s、like, Christianity in、uh, general. They kind of like drag Christianity. down Christianity and、uh, give it like a, a, a bad、But、name. Yeah, exactly, bad impression. Exactly.、Mm, so they would knock you on the door, the, they would ring the bell, and stuff like that. So, they could see Christians, like I don't want to say like normal Christians because I don't sound rude to those people. <laughs> But,、um, so yeah. So, usually, if you go to like Christian websites or if you receive something from like Christians, usually, like at the right below, like at the corner of the paper, it says, We have nothing to do with Mormonism, Jehovah's Witnesses, and the other toys, Kyokai. How do you see the future of Christianity in Japan? As a Christian, I would want Japan to come to know Jesus, obviously. That's obviously why I'm here.、Um, I don't want to sound crazy. I'm not trying to obviously like, force this to anyone. That's never our, our desire, our will. But our responsibility or our task, if you will, is, is to just let the truth be known. So all we have to do is to just share it. Share what we know, share, share the word, share Jesus, share the gospel,、um, and then whether they, they're going to believe it or not, it's, it's all up to them. It's all in between them and God. So we can do nothing about them. We, we can never convert people. It's not our job, it's, it's God's job. So it's not like, oh, let's go, Gambaro, Christian,、mm. <laughs> we're going to change Japan. And, and that's, that's what I like about you.、Mm. Like, since we became friends, You never tried to kind of like preach to me so much. I asked a few questions, you answered.、Mm. That's it. So、mm. I think that's the way、mm. in general.、Mm. Th- that, that will make me、mm. ask more questions,、mm. will make me more curious、mm. if you're not you know, annoying about、mm. your belief.、Mm. I think you're doing a great、yeah. job when it comes to your religion. Yeah, thank you. Any last words, my friend? Last words. Very cliche, very typical, but Jesus loves you. <laughs> Jesus loves you, Jesus loves you. And He has a plan on earth. So 
don't panic with everything that's happening in the world. Chill and know that God is in charge. God bless my friends. God bless you. Timmy actually has a YouTube channel, so make sure to follow him. I'm gonna link it down below. If you're a Christian in Japan, tell me your experiences in the comments down below or just comment your thoughts. I'm curious. Stay safe, much love, until next time.